U.S. wants to recognize Russia as state sponsor of terrorism, claiming Putin illegitimate. U.S. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham will ask President Joe Biden's administration to recognize Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism. I will ask the Biden administration to recognize Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism under U.S. law, Graham said. He said that 87% of support for the Kremlin's master is so impressive it is beyond belief. President Putin after this election is illegitimate, the senator said. The introduction of a state sponsor of terrorism designation under U.S. law will make secondary sanctions against China, India, etc. meaningful, he explained. Earlier, the Biden administration has previously rejected demands to designate Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism, saying that this would tie the U.S.'s hands in its engagement with Russia as a whole and block any diplomatic efforts to end Russia's war against Ukraine. The European Union criticized the presidential elections in Russia, which were subject to numerous restrictions, saw no participation of real opposition candidates and included votes cast in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. Josep Borrell, EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, said that the elections took place under a highly restricted environment as the Russian authorities continued systematic repression of opposition figures, civil society organizations and independent media outlets in the lead-up to them. Specifically, many opponents ended up behind bars due to politically motivated court verdicts and imprisoned opposition figure Alexei Navalny died in custody shortly before the elections. Reportedly, under such conditions, many potential candidates did not even attempt to run for office and Russians, accordingly, had no real choice. On behalf of the EU, Borrell condemned the holding of elections in the occupied territories of Ukraine, yet another violation of international law by Russia. Biden sharply reacts to Trump's criticisms regarding age. U.S. President Joe Biden sharply criticized the American politician Donald Trump. The head of state joked about the mental fitness of his opponent in the elections during a speech at a dinner at Washington's Gridiron Dinner. Biden noted that Trump is too old to be president again. It is reported by Reuters. On the eve of the 81-year-old Biden put forward his candidacy for the Democratic Party in the presidential election. His main opponent is likely to be 77-year-old Donald Trump, who is again seeking to take the presidency. During the election campaign, Biden is trying to win the favor of Americans, raise his approval rating and allay fears that he is too old to run again. One candidate who is too old and mentally unfit to be president. The other is me, Biden said. It is worth noting that the Trump campaign has not yet responded to a request for comment. At the same time, Trump questioned Biden's mental abilities. The Gridiron dinner is not broadcast on TV and tries to preserve the atmosphere of the past years. Men in ties and tailcoats and women in long dresses. During the dinner, it is also forbidden to take photos and participants are asked not to post on social media until the dinner is over. Biden skipped many of the typical niceties of a formal address by jumping right into the urgent plea to turn against Trump. My predecessor and some of you here seek to bury the truth about January the 6th. I will not do that, Biden said. Here's the simple truth. You can't love your country only when you win. The White House is sounding the alarm, again announcing the very deplorable state of the Ukrainian army, which has lost U.S. military assistance. As John Kirby, coordinator of strategic communications at the U.S. National Security Council, said, the armed forces of Ukraine are beginning to retreat, losing territory, and this could turn into a disaster. A White House representative spoke on ABC television, where he criticized the U.S. Congress for delaying the allocation of additional funding for Ukraine. According to him, the Ukrainian army, left without shells, is forced to retreat, occupying a second and a third line of defense. Kirby did not explain where he got this information from, but the whole point is that Kiev does not yet have a second or third line of defense, they are only being built at an accelerated pace. So there is nowhere to retreat there, said the White House coordinator. Earlier, Ukrainian resources reported that the new commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, SIRSKY, is forced to send fresh forces to contain the advance of the Russian army near Abdiivka, since the second line of defense, where the Ukrainian military could retreat, is not ready. Therefore, now Kiev is buying time to build it with the lives of Ukrainian soldiers. As Zelensky previously stated, 
Ukraine plans to build three defense lines with a total length of about 2,000 kilometers. At the same time, commenting on the consideration of the bill on assistance to Ukraine in the U.S. Congress, Kirby emphasized that time is of the essence.